Hey, hello everyone, and welcome back once again to Strategic Command World War II World at War. This episode is brought to you by Pumnarau, a support like his that makes it possible for me to make these extra episodes. And, well, frankly, I think that's awesome. That's just what I wanted to say. Let's get started. I... I'm pretty much at the end of this turn. Mm, there might be a few small changes that I would still be willing to make. Let's just... Move some of these guys down a bit. No, I don't have any points for the Germans anymore, so... They need to be within six hexes of Warsaw. And I think they're doing that just fine. So I can move this now. Ah, these guys. Uh, let's just move them into Amsterdam because they might also just land and take that port just in one go. Not that a garrison is good enough against that, but but we'll also need garrisons down there. Anyway, uh, you cannot cross. You did already bomb, so we're good to go here. I'm um, not going to repair these, so that's all looking well and fine. You cannot take those. This is looking fine. Yeah, that's all good. I did repair them. You guys got repaired. Looking out here. You're all looking well and dandy, I think. And, well, actually, the only one thing I can do is have the Japanese actually invest into... Oh, I have no remaining chits. Never mind. Mm, let's just keep the 50 then. Let's end the turn. Yeah. Whatever. <laughs> okay, communists actually joined... Four percent, yeah. Ooh, that's nice though. I mean, the four percent is not too amazing, but yeah, we'll have to work with it. Uh, getting them uh, up there, so I think that does make me lose one of the chits. Let's zoom in a bit here. With a bit of luck, the weather won't be too bad, but uh, it's unlikely. Uh, can you stop being a bitch? <laughs> Alright, they retreated. Except in North Africa, I don't expect too much fancy stuff going on. I think we do have pretty decent positions at the moment. I'm really, really curious to see how we're going to do in the late later stages of the war, though. Like, I, I actually am genuinely interested to see whether I can win this at the highest difficulty. <laughs> Even the bomber did two damage to my fighter. It is nuts. <laughs> oh, man. Gee. Yeah, this, <laughs> this is brutal on a whole new scale. Their artillery... Hmm. I mean, they don't really have that much to back it up. And to be honest, if they're going to keep things like that, they might be ripe for an encirclement. Uh, I don't think they would like that. But who knows? Uh, they're backing out. Well, I might still get to destroy their recon. It's not the best price. But it's some Greenland becomes a US protectorate. Yeah, they're joining. No. Well, probably soon, though. I completely forgot to deploy the. ship at Staten. Let's take care of it now before I forget. Okay. 
Uh, that's a bunch of units that we get to deploy. Sweet. Mm, nope. Naval flotilla bombers, huh? Well, we're not at war with the USA yet, so I might actually use them in China for a little bit. Uh, let's get started with the mainland. Probably the best. Let's repair. And we actually do have pretty good weather. Let's use the medium bombers here first. Although they have entrenchment, so that's not. Oh no. Uh, I really don't want it to be a turn like that again. Come on. Alright, let, let's just take Belgrade then. Like, if uh, regular infantry are not gonna cut it, then. Now, my real concern is whether I can get the Italians in there, and it seems like I kind of can't at the moment. Now, maybe if I destroy the unit at Dubrovnik... You see, I could give it to the Germans, but the Italians are weak enough as it is. I guess I will not be taking it this turn then. I'll uh, I'll just let it slide for now. I again forgot to use the HQs. This is really really silly. I don't think you can reach that far now, okay. Can I bomb with the sandstorm? And I can't. Okay. Well, they do have a ship there, which I also can't bomb because conveniently there's a sandstorm there. Okay. Well, that's really bad for me. to say I uh, would be mighty pleased if I can actually take Tunis. Thank you. And I cut these guys off so that's also pretty nice. Now that actually will increase, well it won't increase the actual supply situation but it does allow me to start moving up a bit. And uh, these guys have been beaten now, so I can probably send out one of the armies at the very least. Now that we only have to deal with their course. I might actually be able to send you over to this side. But that really just all depends on how things are looking here. These guys are doing it pretty bad. All right, 
Alright, it's no surprise that I have to move into tanks, but... Ultimately, that was fine, so... Killing the recon... Makes their operations a little less volatile. Although these guys are still a danger now. Uh, Supply is just not good enough. They have two core and an army. Hmm. Well, I cannot get these guys back up to 10, but I cannot put them in there either. I could move in that army, which is probably the correct choice then. Get you back in order for uh, repair. Then both... Really? Oh, you were attacked already. Well, let's try to get them in as bait. So, if I can get really lucky, can get some of these guys to move forward again and that will make them you know lose more supply etc it has worked pretty well so far I mean these artillery pieces are very annoying but I need to get to a situation where they don't have enough real forces to hold me down and I kind of have to do that by destroying one enemy unit every single time uh, which has worked well so far I got one army one recon and I believe a core, so I think that is well worth it. Now I don't mind getting these guys down there, so I will use these bombers also in my fight against Greece, which I'll pl probably declare on next turn. They're at 56, so they are just slowly. turning uh, to join the allies but definitely not yet it does allow me to put some timely repairs and things like that as well let's take a look at some of the research definitely need to start improving on my tanks it's been a while since I've been able to do any kind of research for the uh, Germans, actually, and uh, yeah, that, that moan is finally there, so I'm I'm quite pleased with that. Let's move you here and see if they can help out a bit with naval engagements against that submarine. Mm, no partisans down there. That's good. Tunis gives me five as well, so that's neat. Now that the Yugoslavians have fallen, it's time to move the Hungarians up as well. And start reinforcing that HQ. In preparation for the, the battle against the Russians, probably next year, or at least as late as possible. Like I said, I just need my troops in other places. And uh, Germany still has chits left. Yeah, let's pump it into Bulgaria. And uh, see if I can get them to flip over to my side. Uh, Persia is 10, Sweden 24, and Spain only 8. Well, 
I do think Spain will be easier to flip if I take this. We'll see how it goes. Japan. No bombing this turn. Hmm. They could take another piece of the road, but that's not really the thing that I'm interested in. I'm actually going to try and upgrade those units with mobility for this turn while I can. Because I just can't really move a whole lot further without that mobility. And, you know, I could attack these guys, but yeah. What's it going to do, at least for now? I can reinforce them, and I will, but... Uh, Yeah, I'm, I'm just spending my points here. I, I think. Okay, using the long range bombers, pretty useful to do that in this turn. And I don't really need to repair anywhere else. 3 3 is nice, but I can't back it up with anything solid at the moment. I might just as well leave it for now. The only thing that's a bit of a problem is here. Although I don't think they can actually get in there. I really don't think so. Right, that pretty much leaves me done with Japan as well, except for the reinforcement of you. They should be fine though, despite all these enemy guys. Um, yeah, I did some serious upgrades, but it's probably better to do that now than to wait. Like, they also technically would have to repair, but I just don't really see them do a whole lot otherwise. If they cannot move in there, you know, maybe trash the HQ, which is definitely new, then I don't know. Yeah, um, submarine though. Shoot. You have seven supplies, so let's set you to... Let's move up here. I'm probably not going to get them to Narvik, but at least down there, I think. So, the other submarine. Let's just reinforce it now. We'll send it out next turn. That will be okay. Alright, very last check over here. Should be fine, though. Mm. Can't upgrade these guys yet. Cannot imagine them falling without their capital uh, have fallen. All right. Sure, Communist China joins the Allies. Oh, we're doing pretty well in Bulgaria. They're like 60% now. Oh uh, yeah, infantry weapons level two. That is, yeah. <laughs> all right, very, very, very nice. Ooh. All right, getting some juicy MPP for the Germans. Finally, the MPP start flowing. Well, oh, come on. Keep being harassed by the French fleet against we can pretty much do nothing. Since I also don't have the MPP to repair the Italian fleet. And not only that, it uh, simply wouldn't do to spend MPPs, I guess, on the French fleet. Especially since they're so close to falling. Wow, they're going after Certe. And El Gila. Hmm, this is the first time they don't have fighter interceptors. That's very weird. Oh, holy moly. Two damage. What the? That's pretty insane. Hmm. They did a bigger number on me than I would have expected. 
Just like here. Seems like my forces weathered the storm, but uh, <laughs> what? Where do they get all these guys from? I don't remember that many guys the first time I played it. Hmm. Yeah, they sure have a bunch of core. Yeah, let's leave those for now. They still have only three supply, huh? Interesting. But... Let's at least get rid of this. And since apparently I'm not gonna repair this turn anyway. To be honest, I'd rather upgrade them with infantry weapons level 2 for now. Uh, I guess even now I can still move in here. They ain't gonna be able to, to deal with... or put anything in there, not that I would think so, unless they would move the unit from Algiers, but uh, despite everything, I, I think they will be fine, so we'll be able to at least destroy this, maybe damage this move upon Algiers on the next turn, and turn after that I think we can, can at least take it, and then they'll move to Oran, they will take another turn and then they'll finally have fallen, it's been taking a long time, but I think we'll finally get it A reason why I'm attacking with the Italians first, just to lower their entrenchment for the Germans. Since I do want to kill off both of these units now. Alright, and start working on Greece after this. So, as for the partisans... Hmm, currently I, I do have units in place, so it's okay. At least I suppose. Um, yeah, so that's that. Uh, they're getting some stuff from India, huh? Hmm. I, I can almost cut them off, but not quite.
Hmm. Gonna have to think about it. Let's deal with this first. So they do have a better movement indeed. But sweet. That's actually really good for me. That isn't though. That's just uh, quite a shame, actually, because yeah, destroying that army was very promising. But if I can't follow it up, they're just gonna put another unit in there. Eh. Never be able to take this. Well, dealing or repairing an army is a costly affair. Definitely getting my special forces some additional infantry weapons here as well. guess wherever I go you are not doing that well how about you okay I'm switching them up and then just reinforcing mm. yeah I'm not en engaging them actually To repair for now and what are the upgrades that I actually get to do what is the research that I actually get to do research does take priority fence fighters long-range aircraft I need to work on more industrial technology obviously I'm not too sure whether I can get above 100. I might, but I really don't know. Hmm. Maybe. Well, I did spend my points just now. So there's nothing I can do now. To be fair, I actually still need more units. Uh, I'm actually going to move... Oh, let's take a look at the partisan situation. Okay. can move you here. They cannot get through these mountains anyway. It's, it's actually perfectly safe. I would send these maybe next turn. Hmm. I pretty much indeed need to get the Kunlun Pass and 
this area. Crush through here before I can take Quay Chow and start moving up. Yeah, that's gonna take quite a while. Um, all right, I'm pretty much done. Well, for pretty big portion, except Africa. Uh, let's deal with the new units as well. Uh, Sasebo. There. It, uh, it will take a while to get all these forces out onto the water, so... Fourteenth Army. Okay, just get a bunch of stuff. So I should start working on getting all of these in uh, transports, etc. to start taking certain things like, you know, get Nauru, Wake Island, probably not Midway, we will see. Definitely Guadalcanal. Right. Uh, anyway, diplomacy also needs to be done for the Germans. They still have four chits. As I said, I'm going to spend it on Bulgaria. Forty-five percent chance per turn, but I really want to get them in, so it should be worth it. Now, research. We're doing tanks. We're doing fighters. Next most important thing is long-range aircraft. And there's still so much that is very important for me to do. No longer going to spend in production. Getting ground attack weapons to two, huh? Uh, let's. Getting an army is 212. Hmm. I guess. Yeah, you really need artillery weapons level 1, or it's not going to do anything. But I can upgrade it later, so let's purchase it already. At least that gives me another unit. And for the Italians, I'm upping industrial technology. Guess it was only at level one. That's a bit odd. Well, they need the MPP. All right, I'm gonna end the video here though. I see that it's time already. I wanna thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. I will wrap things up in the next episode. Mostly Italy or um, North Africa. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching this one. Take care and see you next time. Bye-bye. Uh, but that's not without thanking my Patreon supporters. Pumnarao, Dillysvan555, Mandingo, Tomislav Trillin, Swords, and Serbanescu Sebi. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.